Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on the video. Yeah, it is your truly, 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 truly Makwala Agri. We are back in the chicken house. What are we going to be doing here? We are going to clean our house. So, uh, we are preparing for December market. So, yeah. I haven't been in this house about two months now uh, since we did our last circle. Uh, it's been a while since I've been in this house, man. Uh, but yeah, man, I think we need to renovate some part of this roofing because it looks like our, our roofing is bad, man. Um, yeah, we gotta, we gotta do something here. I'm not sure if we're gonna survive the rain season. <laughs> Get this part uh, i'll try to get something and try to set it out but yeah man uh it's been an amazing it's been an amazing it's been an amazing year we are finally approaching the end of 2024 uh my message to upcoming farmers my message to my fellow farmers is that you know around this time of the year we do get bad quality chicks we don't get good quality uh, a lot of people will start to cry Check it out on social medias, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, everywhere. Farmers, it's about that time where we will start to cry because we're going to be getting chicks that are not growing. We're going to be getting chicks that are just dying on their own. So I'm just saying, if you want to start this farming thing, make sure that you buy your, your feed. Make sure you buy your chicks, more especially the chicks, man. Make sure you buy your chicks from a good supplier. Uh, you buy chicks from a someone who's, who's who's been in the game for a very long time because some of the mistakes that we find is that someone is new in the game and is looking for to start in December because we know we all know that December market it's 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 crazy man it's nice and crazy but it comes with a lot of disadvantage because also suppliers take advantage of us during this time because they know that we wanna go hard on the market we wanna two thousand numbers of chicks um so so my fellow farmers i'm just saying that you know that you never done thousand why should you do thousand in december you know that you never pushed two thousand but in december time you want to push two thousand so be careful be careful where you buy your chicks be careful where you get in um uh, that day old chicks guys but yeah from me to you makwalagri i'm just gonna say Guys, good luck. It's, it's a, it's a, we are about to end the year. And I'm about to prepare my circle for the year. So I'm going, about to, I'm going to clean this house. Uh, we're going to be having the last circle in this house for the year. So I'm going to be booging the chicks today. Um, and we're also going to collect them this month around the 25th of October. So they're going to be ready month end November beginning of december so yeah it's our final 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 circle for the year and i appreciate the love that we i have seen on social media so we have pushed uh the numbers up to 20 something thousand subscribers this year we have done incredible videos i've done uh, a series where it seems is the most loved series that i ever done on my youtube channel guys so i have no more ways to say but right now i'm just gonna be cleaning my chicken house and let it rest until 25 of this month so it means that this house is going to be resting uh for 25 days after i'm gonna be cleaning it so what we do now take the drinkers the feeders out and then we're gonna be taking all these things outside yeah Let's 
Spedi sere. So holo se fetja go ngwat. Yeah, so <coughs> No, I need to get a mask. <laughs> Whew. Oh, let's go grab some mask. This is one of the best circles that I have in, Papa. Here, this is the worst circle I ever had. I wish I wish I have taken content about this circle. Like I wish I have shown people already. It's not it's not always glory in this in this business. Just that I didn't have time for content. So what do you want here? Man, those things are sick. Like, like if you can count them, they're about eleven. So we are counting around one point six, one point one. So it's one point one loss here already. already. And we have probably mortality rate went up to what state? Isn't it? Yeah, we lost a lot. Chief. This like this is the worst second. And in terms of sales, our numbers dropped. You remember when I told you this is going to be the last circle before the end? Yeah. This, no, this is going to be the last circle before December 2nd. Sure. So we're going to be taking a break for about a month. It's because I know around this time, going down till December, the market is going to be slow. And you're going to start to see a lot of farmers complaining about market. I know these things, guys. I've been in this game for about three, three years. So now it's about time people start to cry about market. And you see, there's another one here that looks like it's about to the the, the air is about to leave the 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 body. This one, you see, this one. Do you see? Look. This is one of the worst circles that I'm having. You know, the change of season. Hey, it's bad. When season changes, even, even chicken seed. Why? So that it can die with all. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, wish. This is one of those circles that I didn't make money and I'm not even planning to make money. Uh, like every time I walk into this house, I feel sad. It's, it's depression. Ah, uh, it's depression. If it's, let me you just let me go and get the the what it is. Let me go get aerogram mask. We are now done with the first part of cleaning our chicken house and this is how it looks like so this is the first part where we take the chicken manure out so the chicken manure is the chicken waste mixed with wood shaving so that's the chicken manure so this is our bags so we think we filled up 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bags that have been filled up. So right now, what's left is to take these bags out of this chicken house, and then we soup this flow, and then we put some water. We know all the whole process of cleaning. So stay tuned, as I'm gonna be showing you everything that I do today. But as for now, um, let's go have some lunch. Um, I'm tired now, so it's time to take some rest. So about the about the chickens that uh, are sick, about the circle that's inside this other chicken house here, about these chickens. Uh, probably you guys are wondering, so Makwal, what happened? Uh, what happened is, it's a lot of things that happened. Uh, if you have checked some of the previous videos that I just recently did, it was that uh, some of the chickens, we found out they were having water bill issue. Um, and some, they were having um, the problem with uh, the, 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 the heart. It was covered with a lot of fat. So what may have happened, and when I'm speaking to some of the experts in the industry, so I sent uh, a video to one of the vet that I know, and then um, she actually communicated with other vet, and then what they told me that may have been an issue here, it was that I did, I did not increase uh, the space, my breeding space, I did not increase the space in time, and another thing, it was that uh, it was too hot, in the chicken house and the ventilation was poor so it took me time to apply the ventilation properly so that's what's led my chicken to be in that condition where their their intestines were covered with a lot of fat i remember if you've checked some of the videos even the the liver it was also covered with a lot of fat um make it hard for the circulation of blood and then also the the heart it was covered with blood so it makes it difficult for what she can to breathe so those are some of the things that happened those are some of the mistakes that we have done in this circle um yeah like i said i wish i have actually recorded um, a series of raising this circle if i knew that we were going to be facing such uh, a huge loss because i lost about eight chickens if I knew that, uh, I could have just recorded it, man. It could have been incredible um, in a learning curve for other farmers and those who want to tap it there in the market. So in estimation of how much money I may possibly going to be losing here, I'm looking at around four to 5,000. Uh, that's the money that we're going to lose in this cycle. So yeah, it's a, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, guys. So yeah. Uh, that's all I have for you for now. Um, I'm taking a break now and I'll go back and continue cleaning the chicken house. So, yeah, my plan is to finish cleaning this chicken house today. No excuses. done now uh, removing the chicken compost so even the dust that was left we sipped it off and then now 
our flow looks good man it looks like you can start another circle but yeah we're not yet done uh, actually cleaning and disinfecting this chicken house so what we is left to do right now is just to uh take our buff that i normally uh fill it up with water and mix uh the disinfecting product that i use to clean my chicken houses so let's get the buff and the water ready to clean the chicken house what i'm up to do now is to connect this pipe so that we can have running water to the chicken house so i'm gonna pull it first and see if it can reach the house um and then we're gonna disconnect our irrigation somewhere along the way and then connect the pipe and check if um if it's on. just i'm just gonna pull it now and then take it to the house and see if it gets in the house uh, or we'll try to use that small pipe that we have on our irrigation that we don't normally use it but uh, i'm not sure if that small pipe will reach there but let me check it with it first if it reaches we're gonna use it so this is the pipe that we are not actually using so if it reaches the chicken house we will try use it to fill up water inside the chicken coop so uh, yeah it reaches it reaches so let me open the irrigation and see how effective it will be oh shit i just uh i think i broke a plant here damn see now i'm trying to make things easy for me but i'm making them worse i just i just broke a plant let me just go and open irrigation and see so this is the tomato field that i have um i think i have about 500 and something plants of tomato i uh, haven't done actually to listen them um, i'm i'm running low with poles to trellis uh these tomatoes that's why you see some they have poles some they don't have uh, those poles so i'm running low with uh, poles so anyone who want to donate me poles you can donate me round poles to actually trellis so this is how i normally trellis the tomatoes just to balance these trees so that they don't fail and they don't even get uh, broken by the the wind yeah, so you can have a nice view of the tomatoes uh, as I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to put water inside the chicken house. So, how nice it is, man, to have crop, to have poultry hmm, in the same space. The, the manure that comes out of the poultry house, it goes here. It feeds this crop that we have. See, the water is running in. So I'm gonna just gonna take that bath and put it here, and it makes things simple. So we we hit two beds with one stone. So what I'm doing now, I'm irrigating my field, which has uh, tomato, and I'm also gonna be cleaning the chicken house at the same time with the same water see so we're just gonna fill it with the water that comes outside so now i'm just gonna quickly grab uh, the disinfecting product that i use to actually you know make the thing to happen So this is what I use to disinfect. I use just fluid and viral key. So I use this two. I trust this two product when coming to clean in a chicken house. But you can also buy viral key alone. Most of the people always ask me what is it that I use. Um, it's viral key and just fluid. So with regarding the measurement of how much you should pour in the water and so on, I just pour.
and th this one it works like it's a multi-purpose product because it also when your chicken are sick uh you can also give them to them when their chicks are still young from day one you can still mix the water with it it's a multi-purpose uh product this one man it, it works for a lot of things so it's called viral kill you can check it out uh even though they, they don't pay me but yeah it's free advertisement for them man and this just flute even though just food does not pay me but still it's free advertisement for them uh yeah so now we're just gonna wait to fill up this bar with uh some water so as for now let's just wait until we fill up some water. we're gonna take a bucket and then uh try to spray the house with it because i don't have the spray thing to spray my house so i'm gonna use a bucket just to split water around the walls to clean out um our chicken house so yeah that's all we're gonna be doing in the next couple of 10 minutes so now we're just waiting for our bath to fill up Yeah, how 